Hi, and welcome back to BJ's channel. Okay, so this is cooking with BJ. We're going to do some spaghetti. So you're going to need ground turkey, beef sauce, smoked sausage, a jar of Prego spaghetti sauce. Now, mine is with fresh mushrooms. They have all different kinds. They have one with vegetables like bell pepper and onion. They have one with... Uh, just plain with nothing in it, but this is the one that I prefer to use. I cut up my own bell pepper and onion to put in there. And I use the thin spaghetti by Anthony. Okay, so we're going to start off by, um, we're just going to brown these in a, in a skillet. And once these get browned, we're going to take them out and drain the, the grease off and we're going to hold them until we get ready to put them in the spaghetti. After I brown these, I'm going to brown the ground turkey and season it up real good. And then I'm going to mix it and make my spaghetti sauce and I'll be back and show you how I did that. Okay. And I have my spaghetti. It's already cooked. Okay. I just cut the fire off and that's how it look. Okay. I'm going to show you. It's the thin spaghetti, not the thick ones, but you can use the thick ones if you choose to. Okay. All righty. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. I'm back. Okay. The ground turkey is halfway done. Okay. It's almost done. So when it starts looking this color, that's when you want to start putting your seasoning in it. You don't want to put your seasoning in too soon because ground turkey takes a while to get the seasoning in it so you want to put it in when it get halfway done okay so I'm gonna add my seasoned salt let's see I'm gonna put seasoned salt black pepper garlic powder and accent salt in my ground turkey here's the spaghetti sauce I'm gonna add everything to the spaghetti sauce as well as parsley and sweet basil okay and here's the other items that will be added to the spaghetti sauce those are the sausage the cut up onion and the diced bell pepper okay I'll be back okay I added my seasoning and the reason why I didn't show you is because is your preference how much seasoning you like in your food okay um, but with ground turkey once my once I season it and I let it cook a little more I taste it to see how much uh, do I need anything else in it now when it get when you taste it and it's the way you like it add a little more seasoning only because you're going to mix this with the spaghetti sauce. So you want to make sure that your seasoning is really, really into your meat. And then it's going to go into the rest of the stuff that's in the pot. Okay. So with your ground turkey, you want to cook it until all the water is gone. See. Okay. So ground turkey does not make grease and all like that, like ground beef. Okay. So. We're going to start adding the ingredients into the spaghetti sauce. Okay, and then you want to cut that, cut the fire on the spaghetti sauce down low. I already have it down low. So we're going to add the sausage. Okay. Now we're going to add the bell pepper and onion. Okay, and I also use a tablespoon, okay? I'm going to put one and a half tablespoons. I kind of measured this out for you guys because I don't measure. So just for the sake of the video, I measured the sugar amount. So it's going to be one, not heaping, just one tablespoon and a half. 
okay and I already measured it and put it off in this little container so we're gonna add that in there okay and now we're gonna put some parsley in and I did not measure as you can see and then we're gonna add sweet basil okay you see the basil see the difference between the parsley and the basil I'm gonna put a little more okay and you can also use oregano I didn't have any so that's why it's not in there but it's your choice it's optional okay and now I'm going to add the ground turkey. Okay, now the ground turkey is in there. And you just stir it all together. And then I'm going to cut my fire to medium high and put the lid on it. And I'm going to just let all this simmer together. Okay. And after all this cook for about 10 minutes, I'm going to add a can of diced tomatoes. Okay. One can of diced tomatoes in the in the spaghetti sauce okay so it's been about 10 minutes so now I'm gonna add my diced tomatoes okay And I'm gonna just stir those in and I'm gonna let it cook for about may I'm gonna let it cook on low fire for about uh, 15 minutes okay and then it'll be all ready and when I come back I'll show you the finished results and give you the name of this spaghetti sauce okay I'm back and it's been about 15 minutes and it's still simmering nice and slow but I gave it a taste and what I'm going to do for mine is because I don't measure so that's why I just went with a tablespoon and a half of sugar so I tasted it and because of the um, tomatoes I'm gonna put another t tablespoon of sugar in it okay so all together is two and a half tablespoons of sugar okay alrighty I'm not gonna add any more sugar that should be enough right there okay so I added the one and a half earlier and I just added one right now so we should be good what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just let this I'm going to cut the fire off and just let it sit for about 10 minutes and let it finish cooking on its own. Okay? Nice and thick. Okay? And just let all the seasoning soak in it. Okay, now this spaghetti sauce is going to be Gigi's Spaghetti, okay? So that's what we're going to name this one, Gigi's Spaghetti. Or Gigi's Spaghetti Sauce, how about that? Okay, well, thank you for joining me on this spaghetti video and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great evening.